When you think about endurance running, your mind immediately goes to your muscles, your lungs, and your heart. This is the visible factory. But what if I told you that the single organ dictating whether you blow up or fly past mile 22, 35 kilometers of the marathon, isn't your knee or your VO2 max. It is your liver. The liver is your body's energy regulator. It is the central computer managing your fuel supply. Without the liver's constant support, your blood sugar would crash within 30 minutes, leading to immediate fatigue and the dreaded marathon bonk. The science is clear, the liver is not just a filter for toxins. It is the hidden engine of endurance. And today, we will decode its vital role. Part 1. The Central Regulator – The Emergency Bank The liver's number one duty is to guarantee the stability of your blood sugar, that is, glucose. Groundbreaking research, dating back to Bergstrom and Holtman, 1967, proved that liver glycogen depletion is a primary factor in endurance fatigue. Later, Coyle, 1995, demonstrated that maintaining stable blood glucose levels significantly increases the time it takes for a runner to reach exhaustion. These studies were revolutionary because they proved that the fuel gauge the body truly monitors is not localized in your muscles, but in your bloodstream, where the liver exerts its control. The Hormonal Command Center The liver is constantly listening to hormonal signals, specifically the balance between insulin, which tells the body to store energy after eating, and glucagon, which tells the liver to release energy during fasting or exercise. During a long run, insulin drops and glucagon rises, signaling the liver to break down its stores. The analogy, think of your muscles as the local gas tanks, glycogen, and your liver as the central bank, or the emergency reserve tank. One, the emergency safety function, the 25% rule. When you begin a long run, your muscles consume glucose rapidly. If the body didn't intervene, your blood sugar would plummet. The liver intervenes via glycogenolysis, the breakdown of its stored glycogen, and releases that glucose directly into your bloodstream. The critical data. In prolonged running, the liver can provide up to 25% of the total glucose consumed by your muscles. The marathon bonk is not merely muscle fatigue, it is hypoglycemia, blood sugar crash, caused by the failure of the liver to maintain that central equilibrium. 2. The Recycler, the Cori Cycle The liver also plays a crucial role in waste management. When you run hard, your muscles produce lactate. Instead of letting lactate poison the muscles, the liver activates the Cori Cycle. And it takes lactate from the blood, it converts it back into glucose. It sends this new glucose back to the muscles. Significance to the runner. Failure of this recycling system carries a double neurological and physical cost. The excess lactate contributes directly to muscle acidification, and this acidic signal triggers central nervous system fatigue. The brain deliberately limits muscle recruitment and forces the runner to slow down, a profound cognitive shutdown that begins with the liver's recycling failure. The more efficient your Cori cycle, the longer you delay this systemic fatigue. 3. The Fat Metabolizer The liver is vital for the beta-oxidation pathway. It is the organ that processes fatty acids so your muscles can use them for fuel during long runs. By preparing this fuel source, the liver ensures you have a stable, nearly infinite supply of fat for your aerobic engine, allowing you to spare your limited glycogen for the final critical miles. Part 2. The Liver's Clock – Race Strategy if the liver is the bank, understanding its operational timeline is crucial for pacing and fueling strategy. 1. Zone 1. The Abundance Phase. 0 to 90 minutes, 0 to 14 kilometers or 8.7 miles. What happens? Muscles primarily rely on their local glycogen stores. The liver's role, it maintains vigilance. Hepatic glucose output is moderate. 2. Zone 2. The critical transition, 90 to 150 minutes, 14 kilometers to 25 kilometers, or 8.7 to 15.5 miles. What happens? Muscle glycogen stores are significantly depleted. The body must switch its primary fuel source. The liver's role, its output skyrockets, up to 25% contribution. It is working at maximum capacity to maintain blood sugar and mobilize fats. This is the zone of crisis. 
Any deficit in external fueling during this phase immediately accelerates the depletion of the liver's central reserve, drastically shortening the time until the system crashes. 3. Zone 3. The red line, 150 plus minutes, 25 kilometers and beyond. What happens? If external fueling has been inadequate, the liver's central reserves become compromised. The liver's role, it fails to maintain adequate blood glucose. This failure causes the neurological and physical symptoms of the marathon bonk. Part 3. The Protection Protocol, Training and Fueling The liver adapts to training just like your muscles. If you treat it right, it will repay you with endurance. 1. Training the Enzymes The Zone 2. Link Consistent low-intensity aerobic training, Zone 2 runs, improves the metabolic flexibility of the liver. This isn't an accident, it's adaptation. Zone 2 training specifically upregulates hepatic enzymes, the tiny biological workers inside the liver, that are responsible for increasing glucose uptake and enhancing fat oxidation capacity. You are literally making your liver a smarter and more agile factory, improving its ability to switch seamlessly between burning carbohydrates and burning fat based on immediate demand. This means the liver becomes more effective at storing glycogen after meals and more effective at mobilizing fat during a long runs. 2. Protection. During the race, fueling. Fueling with 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour is not just about topping up your muscles. It is primarily about protecting the liver. The command, external carbohydrate intake directly reduces the liver's necessity to sacrifice its own stored glycogen, preserving that vital reserve for the final hour. 3. The Carb Loading Strategy Carb loading is key to maximizing both muscle and liver glycogen. The hypersupply of carbohydrates two to three days before the race ensures the central bank is overflowing, providing the strongest possible safety net. 4. The Silent Damage, Stress and Sleep Lifestyle significantly impairs liver function. This is the critical non-training factor. Chronic stress, high cortisol, and poor sleep prevent the liver from properly replenishing its reserves after hard workouts. The liver under chronic inflammation prioritizes survival over storage efficiency. Even if you eat perfectly, if you sleep poorly, your liver cannot complete its vital recovery job, leaving you vulnerable to the bonk. The summary, the truth behind the bonk. The bonk is not a failure of your muscles, it is a failure of management. The liver is the hidden engine of endurance. It stores the safety fuel, recycles fatigue, lactate, and regulates performance when your muscles give up. If you are ready to learn how to optimize your energy systems, including the critical role of the liver, with scientific guidance, let's build your plan together. If you are ready to banish the bonk and finish strong, the process is simple. Send an email to jimkiriak at gmail.com. Subject, liver fueling or energy system. Let's stop guessing when you will blow up. Let's start managing your energy. Running Coach Demetrius, MSC. Your running journey powered by science.